Hey to all my anime lovers and my manga lovers and to all my gamers out there, welcome back to Phil's Lifestyle. If this is your first time to Phil's Lifestyle, welcome. Today we are back with a next manga haul video. Yes, about time. I've been looking forward to this. It's a big box for a couple of mangas, don't you think? You know how you get those YouTubers with knives getting ready to cut it? Well, all I have is hands, so I just gotta go. Yeah, I see why they use the knives now. Alright guys, let's put the box down. Alright, let's take out the first manga. First we have My Hero Academia Volume 3. I'm sure a lot of you know what My Hero Academia is now. Without saying too much, it's about a boy who's born into a world where being a superhero or having superpowers is normal. It's the norm. But so when you're born without superpowers now, you're not normal. And this boy really wants to be a hero. But this boy still dreams of becoming a hero. Bear in mind, without any superpowers. Then he is scouted by the hero of his dreams. By many other people in this fantasy world, all love this hero. And then this young boy, get scouted by him and then the story just kicks off from there so that's my hero academia volume 3 can't wait to get into this one i have been watching the anime to be fair the next one we have without looking it is boom oh bloom into you this one is a recommendation from rafael galindo i hope i said your name right and i hope you're watching this video i took your advice I picked it up. I'm gonna give it a read. Hopefully tonight, and I'll let you know my feedback on how this went. It's the next Yuri manga, if you can see from the front. It's just research, don't get twisted. <laughs> but yeah, this one is a recommendation. So thank you, Raphael. If you know any good mangas out there, right now I'm open to any recommendations. So leave it in the comments and let me know what's a good read. I don't wanna get sidetracked. So let's go on to the next pick, and that will be No Game, No Life. I like the plot so much, so I thought, nah, I have to get the novel. This is volume two, I've already read volume one of the novel. So, with No Game, No Life, it's just a quick summary of it, a quick plot of what this is about. So basically two siblings who are known as blank in the online gaming world. And in this online gaming world, these two siblings are undefeated until one day they get a message from an unknown name put it that way in this message was a challenge to chess they win this chess match so what they didn't know this match was with a god from a different reality and this reality was just all about gaming and then they were invited into this game world wow <laughs> yeah brilliant plot let me know if you read no games no life or if you watch the manga no, manga if you watch the anime or if you read the manga or if you're reading the light novel like i am let me know in the comments people my next pickup was it's a lot actually i didn't know it was this much oh. <laughs> yes Yes, yes. I can't lie, this one here is one of my favourites. Is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon? Is it wrong? <laughs> what I like about this manga, it always gives you like a little full coloured page. It's cool. Let me just give you a quick breakdown. So, but what makes it brilliant is the first level of adventure. He enters a dungeon. He enters it deep into this dungeon, very man, as a beginner. He's gone deep into this dungeon, so he's he's messed up. He's gone too far. He's in trouble. He's in danger. There's monsters higher levels than him. There's no way of him beating these monsters to escape this dungeon. And out of nowhere, a 10 out of 10 waifu. I got a bit carried away. A, a beautiful adventurous comes to save him and then he feels he lost all pride because he's been saved by the girl of his dreams. He should be the hero to be saving her but, but yeah then the story rolls on from there. It's definitely a brilliant read or a brilliant watch. Let's move on because I could talk about that forever. I love it so much and I feel this is why I like Goblin Slayer so much because it kind of reminds me of 
is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon but it's just a bit more of a grittier version but let's move on before I keep going on and on and on so the next pickup will be Seraph of the End for those of you who've been following my manga hood you know that I haven't picked this up for a very long time Seraph of the End I'm only on volume 4 technically I should the time I started this I should have finished it by now but I just got caught up moving on to my next manga I think this is the last one yep it is and that is Black Clover yeah it's Black Clover for once again for those who've been following my manga haul Black Clover is a next one Black Clover volume 5 by the way so this is a next manga what I haven't picked up for a while but I'm back onto it I have not been watching the anime I have just been reading the mangas on Black Clover well Black Clover is about a boy who dreams to become the greatest mage but there's one issue he hasn't got no magic. You're thinking, how can he come the greatest mage without any magic? But there's always a twist. So what can I say about spoiling it too much? I will say he does get some sort of powers, or he gets something to develop these powers. I hope that makes sense, because I don't want to say too much about spoiling it, because it's harder to... For me, I don't like giving spoilers out, so to break this plot, I feel like I'll have to give a spoiler. That was the best way I could explain it. And also he's got a brother who could do everything. You just, no, 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 you've got that guy who's just good at everything. That's his brother. So what's, what, that's what I could say about Black Clover, to be honest, without spoiling too much. But that's it, guys. That's it for my Mango Hall. Thank you for watching. I'll refresh what I brought. My Hero Academia, volume three. Bloom into you. Volume 1. I picked up No Game No Life. It's a light novel. Volume 2. And I picked up Is It Wrong to Try and Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Volume 2. Then I picked up Seraph of the End. Volume 4. Last and not least, I picked up Black Clover. Volume 5. That's it people, that's what I picked up. Thank you for watching. Remember to let me know in the comments what mangas you are reading, what you picked up for December. Remember to subscribe. Click the red button down below. Subscribe to Phil's Lifestyle to get more content and stay notified when you ring the notification bell people. Keep on gaming on, keep on loving. Um, 